A Huntsville police officer charged with murder is likely headed for trial. A judge denied immunity for Officer William Darby after listening to five hours of testimony yesterday. Officer Darby testified that he shot a suicidal man inside his home last year because he thought he and his fellow officers were in danger. Thank you for joining us. I'm Naja Sherman. Dan Schaefer has the night off. Way 31's Sydney Martin joins us live at the Huntsville Police Department tonight to explain where this case goes from here. Sydney. Naja, the judge in the case issued a gag order, which means neither police nor the prosecutors are allowed to talk about it. I sat down with the defense attorney today, and he explained to me what should happen next after this immunity hearing and told me he's familiar with them. I have never successfully gotten one granted, but uh, I know several people here in Huntsville have. Huntsville attorney Bruce Gardner told me he's not surprised to hear Judge Donna Pate already made her decision for Officer William Darby's immunity hearing. I'm sure she studied it uh, thoroughly and, uh, and was prepared to rule. Gardner told me Darby's attorney didn't convince the judge greater than 50% that Darby acted in self-defense when he shot and killed Parker on April 3rd, 2018. I asked Gardner what he thinks will happen next in the case. In this case, the officer uh, has the right to seek what we call appellate relief in the form of what's called mandamus. Simply put, Darby can appeal. Gardner said he expects for Darby's attorneys to ask for the Alabama Court of Criminal Appeals in Montgomery to review the case in the coming days. I think it would be a very quick review of the uh, record and what tra transpired yesterday. The court would then decide if the judge should have granted Darby immunity. A final ruling that he should have had immunity to ends the case. And Gardner said if Darby's case makes it to court, he is still allowed to claim he acted in self-defense. He's still entitled at his trial to proceed every avenue of self-defense. And while on his quest for an immunity, he bears the burden of proof at his trial, the self-defense issue will have to be negated by the state. Now, Darby's trial is currently scheduled to start on Monday. However, Gardner told me he expects for the judge to delay the trial because if his immunity hearing has to be reviewed by an appellate court in Montgomery. Live in Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. All right, thank you, Sydney. So here is a look at the events that brought us to where we are today. Darby shot and killed Parker in that short standoff one year ago today. The following month, the review board cleared Darby and the other officers. They said that they acted within policy, but the district attorney sent the case over to a grand jury. In August of 2018, Darby was arrested and charged with murder. In January, he requested immunity. A hearing on the matter was postponed in February and moved to yesterday. The one-year anniversary of the shooting this morning around 9, the judge denied immunity. Darby is still on paid leave and is considered a member of the Huntsville Police Department. All of our reporting on this case from the deadly shooting to the judge's decision today is available online. Go to our website. It is waytv.com.